Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us here today. My Thank name you. is Tony Paracuales, right. and as Chief mm -hmm. Strategy Officer for Mobi and a member of our team for a little over 12 years now, I'm really excited to share the stage with my colleagues and closest friends to share with you folks some of the exciting things we've been working on with our exceptionally great partners. So if you'd like to join me, please welcome our Chief Executive Officer, Justin Burdett. <laughs> Hey, everybody. Aloha kako, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. I also want to say thank you to uh, PTC for having us uh, as their diamond sponsor <clears throat> Excuse me. this year. We are really thrilled to be sponsoring our, uh, our hometown uh, telecom conference. And uh, <clears throat> so, I, uh, they're just catching up the teleprompter, so I'm going to wing it. <laughs> um, you know, Moby, we launched in 2005. And uh, across all of this time, which is now almost two decades, we've had the chance to see a lot of changes in wireless. But for PTC, from satellite to wireline to the internet uh, with mobility and fixed wireless, and now even 5G and beyond, PTC coming up, this is 45 years now, they've seen phenomenal changes in our industry, in telecom, and particularly in wireless. So again, thank you so much to Brian, Nikki, Mahalani, JC, Janice, Lori, everyone on the PTC team for making today possible. We really appreciate it. Let's give them a hand. <laughs> So when I joined Moby, uh, gosh, almost coming up on six years soon uh, ago now, Moby was already uh, almost a teenager. And uh, we had already, at that point, seen so many changes in wireless. We really had a front row seat in wireless. And <clears throat> throughout all of these changes, all of this time, uh, as a regional wireless provider, we had the opportunity to focus on our communities, to focus on the people that we served and wanted to serve. A lot has changed since we launched in 2005. Back then, most folks still connected to uh, 2G networks with a flip phone. <laughs> and uh, we've come a fair distance. But Moby was different even then. We didn't have contracts, we didn't have credit checks, there were no deposits, and all of the things that were prohibitive for folks being able to access wireless back then, we set out to tear down. And so we changed wireless in our little corner of the world for the better, and it was important for us to help bring connectivity to more folks, to as many folks as we can. And so from the beginning for Moby, affordability was really important. And because of all of that, whenever I'm at Best Buy or Target or wherever I might be roaming around picking up stuff for our stores or our offices, Sometimes people ask me, what do you do? And I say I work for Moby. And I swear, almost invariably, people tell me we were their first, their first cell phone company. And that hurts a little, because why aren't we your cell phone company now? <laughs> but the reason why we aren't in every case is because a lot has changed, and we struggled sometimes to keep up. We struggled sometimes to find the resources that we needed, or the spectrum that we needed, or the right marketing message, or the iPhone for a little while, that would help folks stick with us. And that was a struggle for not just Moby, that was a struggle for many regional wireless providers. 
When Mobi started, there were hundreds of regional wireless providers in the United States. Now there's a few dozen. And <laughs> as Kalei or Tony, Travis, Cassie, any folks who've been with Mobi for, for all of this time can tell you, we had our fair share of, uh, of challenging moments. But we're still, we are still here. And we're very proud to still be here. We're very proud to still be serving the communities that we care so much about. One of the things um, that I think uh, has been a bit of a roller coaster in our industry is affordability. And while it's been a commitment for us from the beginning, it sometimes is challenging to find the economies of scale that you need, the partners that you need to make affordability really work. And we finally have tapped into the right formula, the right team, the right partners, and really the right moment in wireless technology, we think, to bring affordable wireless to even more folks than we've ever had the chance to do before. So I want to really quickly talk about some of the changes that we have seen, especially over the last, uh, I'd say, four or five years. The pandemic created some ripples. A lot of uh, consolidation in our industry created some challenges. But over these last five years, these changes have really picked up speed. And for the first time in a long time, they're actually working in our favor. These are things like shared spectrum, cloud computing, and as we'll talk about in a little bit, uh, brand new modern core mobile networks. And all of these things are helping us lay a foundation that we believe Mobi will be able to grow from for the next two decades. So one of the things that we're really ecstatic to be sharing with all of you today is our new Mobi plan. And you might say, Plan? Just one? And yeah, it's just one plan. You can customize it, you can tailor it, but we believe that focusing on providing the most affordable single plan possible that folks can combine together for their families, that these are all the folks you're going to get to see after me. And you met Tony, though. Uh, and uh, the most affordable plan, single plan, is really critical. Because if we can focus on getting all of the costs that go into making a wireless provider work aligned, then we can bring wireless connectivity to even more folks. So today, <laughs> our new mobile plan, the new Mobi plan, it's going to be $9.99, $9.99 a month for life. If you sign up, your bill's never going to go up. You're never going to have to pay any hidden fees. There are no gimmicks or gotchas. And includes unlimited talk and text, like most plans do nowadays, but it also includes unlimited data. After your first gig, things slow down. <laughs> but if you're typically on Wi-Fi at home, at school, at work, wherever you might be, 
you don't need a plan that includes 50 gigs or 100 gigs or what a lot of those plans out there today do. And those plans, by the way, oftentimes cost 65, 70 bucks a month, which is a lot, especially if you have a family of four. So if you need extra data, if you're not always on Wi-Fi or if you're not always uh, downloading your videos before you head out or whatever it might be, you can add extra data, either up front if you know you're gonna need it, or at the end of the month you can just pay for however much extra data you use. But $9.99, forever, for life, for as long as you stick with Moby, no gimmicks and no gotchas. And unlike a lot of what you see out there in wireless, there's really no promotion to that part. That's what it's always going to be. And what you oftentimes see, especially in wireless, if you see a price point down around that range, is that price is gonna double or triple or more in three months or six months. But again, it's just $9.99 forever. So we'll talk in just a little bit about how we can make that price point possible. But one of the things that matters a lot to us is fairness and transparency. And so we're going to be voluntarily adopting the FCC's new broadband consumer labels. And if you've seen these, they actually look like a nutrition label from the side of your cereal box. But the reason the FCC is going with this is because what I was saying before, how prices will double or there'll be tripled in a few months or uh, after your first month. The broadband consumer labels make every part of the plan and its pricing and any hidden stuff right there, transparent for everyone to see. And we hope that everyone in wireless decides to, uh, to adopt this new initiative that the FCC is doing right now for wireless broadband, and for, sorry, wireless broadband and fixed broadband, including AT&T and Verizon, maybe. Uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, we'll be here doing it probably ourselves for a little bit. Um, so we've worked really hard to build a wireless plan that's fair for everyone, that doesn't force folks who are careful with their data usage to subsidize their neighbors who might not be so careful. For everyone here today at PTC, uh, we'd like for you to try things out. You can stop by our booth, and uh, if you uh, bring by your badge, or if it's after the conference, if you just, uh, we'll have a form that you can fill out, you can submit a picture of your badge. We wanna give you a year of Mobi service to try things out, and let us know how it goes hopefully next year at PTC. In the meantime though, if you run into any challenges, anything that doesn't quite go the way you want it, or you have guidance for us, suggestions, feedback, we'd love to hear it at any point. You can always reach out to us. And you'll actually see on the slides um, in a sec, uh, our email addresses, that's Tony's, she was here a second ago. Um, our email addresses are always here and you can always reach out. Uh, Obviously that's true for PTC, it's also true for anybody watching at home. If you are joining us from afar, you can head to moby.com later today uh, to pre-order your SIM, and we will be shipping those out soon. If you want to do an eSIM, you can also pre-order that. And for the first 25,000 customers who sign up, pre-order their SIM, activate it, they'll actually always get, not just for a month or three months, they'll always get $4 off their Mobi plan. So instead of $9.99, it'll actually be $5.99. But that's only for the first 25,000 customers. After that, we'll go back to the normal $9.99. But for life. So we're doing that, by the way, because we know the first folks who come and help us out with this, they're really helping us out. They're sharing their experiences. They're letting us know what does go right, what might not go right. And we hope they'll also take the time to spread the word when things do go right. And so that's just our way of saying thank you to everyone. 
So we've got a lot more on affordability, uh, a lot more of things that really excite me, geeky wireless stuff, um, that we'll share in just a few moments. But first, I wanted to welcome uh, our, our colleague, my friend, Chi Nguyen. She is our chief operating officer, and she's gonna talk a little bit about why we believe affordability in wireless doesn't have to be a trade-off for also being a great wireless carrier. So if you'll please join me in welcoming Chi. <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm super excited to be here with all of you. Um, like Justin just mentioned, we have made a very conscious decision as a wireless service provider to prioritize customer care. And so I know a lot of people will talk about prioritizing customer care, they may not always live up to that promise. Here at Mobi, we've made a conscious decision to invest in our customer care team both uh, here in Hawaii and also on the mainland. And that has really allowed us to um, ensure that we are growing with our subscriber base and that we're going to be able to uh, provide help and service based on the growing needs of our subscriber base across all different time zones. Um, and so customer care for us is really central as an organization. Um, affordability, like Justin just mentioned, is also very important for us as well. So we're so excited to announce the 999 Mobi plan that you just heard about. And like he said, it is a lifetime price. There are no gimmicks, there are no gotchas, there's no time-based promotions that are going to disappear. And that's because transparency is so integral to us as an organization. Um, because we believe that wireless service and access to wireless service is a right that everyone should have access to. It shouldn't be a privilege that's gate capped at like incredible prices that people cannot afford. And so we commit to being a wireless service provider that has a heart and a conscience. And that's not something that you hear all the time. So let me break that down. What does it mean? What does it mean to have a heart and a conscience in the telecommunications industry? It means that we have guiding principles that we uh, abide by in all of our decision making, whether they're business or organizational, to make sure that we stay true to our values. We recognize how important it is for our customers to stay connected to their loved ones, and that's a responsibility that we take so, so seriously. We have dedicated ourselves to providing customers with the best service, but for us it goes way deeper than just a great rate plan at $9.99. So I just wanted to break down for you guys what it really means uh, when we say great service here at Mobi. We've invested in training, both from an onboarding and continuous development perspective for all of our team members. And so that means that our customer care team, whether they are in stores um, or on channel, um, are coming into work every single day knowing that they're true customer advocates. And so we want them to make decisions that really apply to the customer that they're talking to. We want them to listen to the stories, we want them to listen to their struggles, and we want them to make the decision that is right in that moment for that customer, even if it doesn't always pad our bottom line. And so we have made sure that our team member know that they are encouraged and empowered to come in and make decisions that advocate for our customers. Um, and ultimately, we want them to center fairness, we want them to center equity for our customers, and we want them to build long-lasting relationships with our customers, because that is way more important for us than just you know, this quarter's current profits and our current subscriber base. One of our most important priorities really then means that we want to have a happy team. And how do we do that? We have a happy team by engaging with the team and working towards shared goals and shared values. Because when you get buy-in and commitment from other people to create a place that they belong to, that they feel truly committed to, then you are making a difference from the inside out. And so that means we have a team that wants to be here and we have a team that wants to make our customers happy when they do reach out to us with questions and concerns. So that brings us to our customers. We don't consider our customers just as nameless people or numbers on a spreadsheet or even a subscriber base that we're just trying to monetize. 
Our customers are part of the different communities that we are so fortunate to be a part of. And so we care so deeply about making an impact in a thoughtful way. And we do that by um, supporting local organizations, taking part in local events that will make an impact in the, society, in the communities that we serve. Um, because we take being a corporate citizen and a responsible corporate citizen incredibly seriously. So for us, being a wireless care provider really means juggling a lot of responsibilities for our team and our customers and our communities. Mobi has been around for almost, well actually, Mobi has been around for over two decades and we're not some fly-by-the-night company that's just out trying to make a profit at the cost of everyone around us. We're here because we care about our customers, about our team, and we care about our communities so very deeply. Um, and that brings us full circle. Moby has a lot of hearts, and I think our heart is our people. And so I am just really committed, and all of us here at Moby are really committed to make sure that we continue to make value and heart-driven and conscious decisions even as we expand onto the mainland um, and even as we expand our customer base. So that's the heart of Mobi. But how do you translate all of that into uh, a product and a system that's going to make a change? Well, I'm really excited to introduce Brad Coates, who is our VP of product, and he's going to talk to you guys about how we're going to translate our passion for people, our passion for simplicity, our passion for innovative technology into something that's going to make a difference in our entire customer and into our entire customer journey, um, regardless of where our potential customer base is going to be. So thank you for listening to me talk about our team and our heart and our people. And I will introduce Brad Coates, who's going to come up next. Thank you. Hey everyone, thanks Chi, I appreciate it. <clears throat> All right, um, so so much of our product strategy really revolves around staying as close as we can to the customer throughout their entire experience. By keeping network, engineering, and product management on the same team, we're able to follow our customers and operate more like an agile startup rather than a traditional bureaucratic wireless company. Our focus on our mobile apps and app first activation and account management will be piggybacked on an open source, sorry, is piggybacked on an open source BSS and CRM. Building our own OSS from the ground up with the incredible opportunities of eSIM brings for a truly digital first customer experience. And all this technology is resting on a modern core network is built just around us not being a plain old traditional cell phone company. By operating more like a startup, we're able to stay close to our customers and be nimble and responsive to their ever-changing needs, and we're able to quickly adapt to new technologies and implement them quickly and efficiently, which then allows Mobi customers to tap into the latest and greatest features. We also take a customer-centric approach in our development and our OSS and BSS, built with our customers in mind, resulting in a more user-friendly experience. Our goal is to build resiliency into all of our APIs, process, workflows, and systems. And there's no reason a customer should have to call in and reference some obscure error code. Um, our eSIM technology and cloud-based core network that we'll talk about in just a few moments uh, allows us to be more efficient and cost-effective, which, uh, which we then pass on to our customers for more affordable pricing. We're really excited to bring the agility, innovation, and energy of a small startup to the wireless industry here in the United States. And we believe this way of thinking really will set us apart from traditional wireless companies. Convenience is key when it comes to wireless service. We don't all have the ability to go to an actual brick and mortar store, or we don't have time sometimes in our day to kind of wait uh, to make simple changes like updating a plan. Um, you think about the requirements you need to activate with a cell phone provider. Really, it's your name, email, phone number, um, payment method, just to name a few. Um, all this is easy for our customers and will take less than 30 and takes less than 30 seconds through us leveraging Apple Pay, Google Pay, and eSIM. With our mobile apps on iPhone and Android, you can sign up for service, activate on eSIM or physical SIM, and customize your plan all in one place. 
Our apps allow you to manage your account, check usage, and contact Mobi customer care through iMessage, support, you know, chat, everything like that. The best part is you don't have to manually enter this information. So when you sign up for Mobi, you're using Apple Pay, you're using Google Pay, you're using Face ID. Um, we have your name, your email, your payment information, and we have a token that we're able to charge monthly. So there's no need to re-enter any information. It, it literally takes 30 seconds to sign up. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, I'm gonna throw it back to Justin just to speak more about how this simple process works from the back end perspective. Uh, so thank you, appreciate it. Thanks so much, Brad. Thanks everybody. So I talked a little bit about earlier about uh, us being wireless geeks. And uh, I wanted to share a little bit more about one of the things that really excites us and one of the things that makes a lot of what Brad and his, te his team have been building possible. So when we first started working on our Mobi apps for uh, iPhone, Android, one of the challenges we faced was a lot of business rules in wireless are based around 2G networks or 3G networks, and they've just sort of stuck around. And those business rules make our lives, our customer care folks' lives, <laughs> our, uh, our product folks and our software engineers, make all of our lives a lot harder because they're inflexible, they're rigid, and they just don't make any sense anymore today. So, when we set out to try to figure out what could we do to break out of those rules, what could we do to really accomplish what we want to accomplish in wireless without having to care about what networks had to do 20 years ago for 2G signal and actually do what we want to do with them today for 5G signal. And I think I've mentioned a few times our mobile core and for folks who might be joining at home, if you're not a wireless geek like Alex, uh, you might be wondering, what, what is a mobile core? <laughs> well, at the end of the day, a pretty decent explanation for it, I think, is any call or text or data session, in or out, it's kind of the, the air traffic controller for all of that. It makes sure you are who you say you are with your SIM card, it makes sure that uh, all of the connections go to the right place, and that's a little bit of an oversimplification, but that mobile core uh, is the heart and brain of pretty much any wireless network. But if you look at the mobile core that pretty much any mobile network operator today is using, it's old, it's really old because they don't want to risk breaking anything if they upgrade it. And, you know, there's some risks there for sure, but it means they're also stuck in time in a lot of ways. And it makes any sort of new capabilities, new functionality so much harder to deploy. It's really driven us crazy to be stuck in those old systems. And so we set out to try to find someone who might, be who might be building something new. And that's why we are thrilled to announce today that we are now live on the Mobi One 5G Cloud Core. And we have sims roaming about that are connecting to that network. And we'll talk a little bit about how quickly we deployed that network in a second, but I'd like to bring up uh, Erlen Pressgard, who is the CEO of Working Group 2, the company that's built that modern cloud core, to share a little bit about what they've been up to, what they've helped make possible for us in really record time, and to talk a little bit about how they're changing telecom in, we think, pretty revolutionary ways. So Erlen. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Pleasure to be here. 
I come from Oslo, from zero degrees and rain, so it's a bit of a challenge and a burden to come here to Waikiki Beach and do morning uh, runs in the sunrise. <laughs> We're incredibly grateful and excited to be working and partnering with the Mobi team to bring what we think is a revolutionary customer experience to the United States and especially to Mobi's customers. With the working group to cloud-based core, Mobi can now offer an app store for the network. This gives Mobi's customer the ability to customize their experience and activate advanced features. These features can be things like anti-spam filters, they can be increased security, they can be voice assistants in your voice call, they can be, for the geeks out there, integrations with things like if this and that. Enabling features like this requires a carrier to think in completely new terms, embracing the best of new operating models and modern technologies. And when Mobi leverages Working Group 2 network, they're actually getting superpowers. They're getting the power of public cloud infrastructure as we operate out of AWS. That gives security, resiliency, and stability that is hard to match. They get an as-a-service model, which drives both efficiency and constant improvement. And they get a platform-based innovation model to harness a new ecosystem of developers where they don't have to do everything themselves. Our shared, secure, and cloud-based core allows Mobi to operate and scale their network at a fraction of the cost of what it otherwise would have done. And that is cost that is saved for Mobi and that is passed on to their customers for the affordability, affordable connectivity that Mobi wants to offer its customers. In addition, and I believe I might be preempting Justin's plans here a little bit, but if Mobi wants to go international, it's a global mobile core platform. We make it that much easier to actually now become a global mobile core operator uh, and they can become a global operator taking what they've done in the US, bringing it into a new country in a consistent way. So the elusive promise of a globally consistent mobile operator is becoming a reality. Mobi is our first carrier in the US, and they are the embodiment of what we think a modern forward-looking operator looks like. We're privileged and excited to be working with the Mobi team to bring new advanced and customized, customizable capabilities right at the network level to Mobi and their customers. On a personal note, it is difficult to find a friendlier, uh, more welcoming and values-based team uh, than what we have from the Mobi team here in Hawaii, and we're very happy about that. I'll now turn things back over to Justin, but I want to thank you so much, uh, Mahalo, Nui Lua, for having us and for working with us to build this partnership between our two teams. Everyone at Working Group 2 is sincerely looking forward to working closely with everyone at Mobi to do some incru truly incredible things. Thank you. So what is now possible with that fancy new core that Erlen brought over from Norway? It actually lives in the cloud, but it goes everywhere with him. Uh, many, many things. He talked about a few of them, but one of the easiest, I think, ways to explain what's so fundamentally different is just the timing. So we kicked off the project with WG2 just before US Thanksgiving in late November. And our major network partner had a change freeze. They don't want to make changes around the holidays because if something breaks and everybody's on vacation, that's not great. So that change freeze kicked in, I think, just a week or two after that initial kickoff, or a week and a half, actually. And that new cloud core went live last week. There's no other instance that we know of where a core has gone from a kickoff call <laughs> to being live and having folks roaming around with sims on it. And they could do that anywhere in the United States, here in Hawaii, or on the mainland. In not counting the change trees, like two and a half weeks. That's one of the things that's possible. You can make changes, you can bring new innovations, 
You can figure things out, troubleshoot things so much easier, and you can do all of that so much faster because of the flexibility and scalability that that new core makes possible. And because of that, we're able to do a lot of really exciting things, and another partner that we uh, announced that we're working with today is Federated Wireless. Federated Wireless really pioneered this concept of shared spectrum so that if we use a little extra spectrum, we can. If we use a little less spectrum, someone else can use it as well. That requires a lot of coordination and Federated Wireless has built the brains to make that happen almost instantaneously and very seamlessly. And because of their ability to prove that this is possible, a few years ago, the FCC set aside spectrum called CBRS that uh, was made available to anybody who wanted to do something hopefully innovative in wireless. And with that spectrum, because it was a completely different model, thousands and thousands of companies and startups, small businesses, nonprofits decided to give wireless a try. That's really almost never happened in wireless. You'd have to go back to the very earliest days to have had the chance to do something like that. Because typically when wireless spectrum is leased, AT&T and Verizon come in and they have very big checkbooks and they bid the spectrum so high that nobody else can afford it. This is a completely different model and we're so excited about it because it means we can go back to building coverage here in Hawaii in places where we know it needs to be built. We can do things like expand home broadband over wireless to places where high-speed internet still can't reach. This is really exciting for us because we care about bringing wireless connectivity to more folks. And one of the ways that we can also use that spectrum is called femtocells. Femtocells, if you're not a wireless geek, it's basically just a little cell phone tower maybe about the size of your Wi-Fi router. All you have to do is plug it into electricity and to internet, and then it lights up a Mobi cellular signal. And there are some restrictions around how much it can uh, broadcast, so it doesn't reach as far as a big cell phone tower, but it still can be great for filling in a coverage gap for your house or office or wherever you might be. Those femtocells, we think, are one of the ways that decentralized wireless networks are really going to, because of those window cells, are really gonna change wireless connectivity in really exciting ways. And later this year, we'll be launching a Mobi Femto cell, and we're working really hard to get it under 99 bucks, because it has to be really affordable for folks. And for folks who help us build our wireless network, even if it's just in their little part of the neighborhood, they'll get a discount on their Mobi bill each month because they're kindly donating a little bit of electricity and a little bit of internet connection to us. There are some other companies like Helium Mobile that are doing something similar and they compensate folks through uh, cryptocurrency. That's pretty exciting to a lot of folks as well, but we'd like to just give folks a little bit of a discount on their Mobi bill and then they can cash it out if they do a lot of femtocells or something like that. But when we talk about democratizing wireless connectivity, it really is that combination of using new capabilities to bring wireless connectivity to more folks coupled with affordable wireless. So femtocells are pretty exciting. There's another piece that we are also very excited about called Sidelink. And if you haven't heard of it, uh, I, I think it's, uh, it's something that's really worth digging into. Uh, 5G Sidelink is gonna be built into the 5G advanced specification that will be finalized later this year. And basically, if, let's say, a average cell phone tower covers about 25 miles, 
let's say you're right at the edge of that, you're 24.8 or nine miles from that cell phone tower, and you still have signal. You can make a call, you have data, you can send a text. But there's someone who's just a little bit further than that radius, that 25 miles, and it's give or take, depending on the topography. But they can actually reach your iPhone. They can see your signal, because Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, those technologies can reach several hundred feet, even a little bit further in great conditions. It can see you, you can see the cell phone tower. With 5G Sidelink, you can be a hop for that cell phone to get back to the cell phone tower. So if there's an emergency, if you get hurt, you can still make a call, send a text, whatever it might be, securely. That hop in the middle doesn't know what you're using it for, and they have to opt in to allow that to happen, and there will be reasons why folks will do that. Apple has actually built emergency SOS via satellite, and that's come out in all iPhone 14 models. But if you're hiking, say, that 25 mile, 25 and a half mile, whatever it might be, and there's tree canopy overhead, you may not be able to get a clear view of the satellite to make that emergency call. That's why things like Sidelink, along with emergency SOS via satellite, can actually help fill in gaps of coverage and those femtocells that we talked about um, that can help save lives, potentially. And also, if you just need to order some coffee, maybe. So that's one use case. There are plenty. But because of the flexibility of the new Mobi Core, we can do things like that. And we're really excited to support not just 5G side link, although that's pretty exciting, not just femtocells, that's pretty exciting, not just CBR CBRS, that's pretty exciting, but all of the things we haven't even thought of yet. And that's now possible because of the new uh, Mobi Core, powered by our folks from Norway, <laughs> WG2. So, those innovations would not have been possible for a small carrier. It's just not something you usually are able to do because you don't have the resources to go get the big telecom vendors to come and help you do those things. Maybe years after AT&T or Verizon have, but years after. Because of the partnerships we've built with WG2, with Federated Wireless, with TNS and others, we can do things like this today. I'm really excited now to have my colleague, Meredith Mahar, come up and share a little bit about what we're doing on all of these fronts to make more affordable wireless possible and why we're able to do that, how we're able to do that. So, Mayor. Thanks so much, Justin. With everything happening in the world, especially over the last few years, Everyone at Mobi understands that affordability is a key concern for our customers, which is why we are so proud to offer our one new simple price plan at just $9.99 per month. We believe that everyone should have access to high quality wireless service at an affordable price, and that should be backed by smart technology and phenomenal customer care. Making all of this work really depends on our ability internally to leverage the economies of scale of one of the big wireless carriers while still maintaining control of our own core network, customer care, and our own tech stack. This allows us to offer our customers the highest quality service at a truly affordable price. Here's a number that may or may not shock you. Uh, according to a Whistle Out survey, approximately 62% of Americans spend more than $100 every single month on their wireless bill. And slightly more than half of those respondents are paying for just one or two lines. If we drill down into that data a little bit, it maps out to many customers paying more than $65 per month for their wireless service. Remember now, Mobi's new plan is $9.99 per month. That means that the average wireless carrier could be saving $50 per month or more. That's savings of $600 per year just by switching to Mobi. 
And for a family of four, that equates to over $2,400 per year, mostly just by making sure you're always connecting to Wi-Fi when it's available to do so. We know that there are plenty of folks out there that will jump on those kinds of savings if it means that they don't have to give up having access to a reliable and fast network when they want it, great customer care when they need it, and access to important features like, say, support for Apple Watch with cellular plus GPS connectivity. Actually, that's a really good example because I love my Apple Watch and I love going running with it and my AirPods. I leave my phone at home thanks to the cellular connectivity that's built in directly to my watch. But if you listen to sources like iPhone Life Blog, if you're activating a wearable with one of the big carriers, like AT&T or Verizon, sooner or later you're going to end up spending a whole lot for that. AT&T will charge you up to $10 a month for any once any promotional pricing has expired. And it's the same thing with Verizon. That's $120 per year or $480 for a family of four. You can also expect to be dinged about $35 for any activation charges or upgrade fees. That brings your total first year bill to about $620. And on, that's on top of the $2,200 that you're already spending for your year of wireless service. And to us, that is just crazy because we know that the cost for a carrier like AT&T or Verizon to support a wearable like the Apple Watch is almost nothing. And how do we know that? It's because we've crunched the numbers. And later this spring, we are going to make it possible for every Mobi customer to add their own compatible wearables, like an Apple Watch, to their Mobi plan for just 99 cents per month with no activation fee. That means it's under $48 per year for a family of four with Mobi versus 620 for the same family with a larger carrier like Verizon or AT&T. We are so excited to be able to support technologies like wearables, which our customers are asking for us for daily. Being able to finally make the economics of this make sense for our customers and for Mobi is pretty exciting for, every, for everybody. And honestly, this is just the start of it for us. We are committed to providing our customers with the most affordable and transparent pricing without ever compromising on the quality of the service that we build and deliver to them. While making it so that anyone can try or switch to Mobi is a big part of why we're different from the ground up, I'd like to welcome Cassie Sabado Evans, our Vice President of Stores, to share more about how our recommitment to our home here in Hawaii and how we're growing our base here, even as we plan to expand and bring Mobi to the mainland US. Welcome, Cassie. Mahalo nui mer. Aloha. Mahalo, one more time. Aloha. Okay, much better. Mahalo. Many things have changed within our wireless industry, along with Mobi as well, within the past two decades. But one thing that has always remained a constant for us is our commitment to people. Later this year, we'll be uh, growing our stores team by opening uh, new retail locations in Hilo on Hawaii Island and on Maui. And by early next year, our first retail store on the islands of Kauai. Yay. <laughs> now, Hawaii is different, and it stems from our culture. Culture here, it doesn't matter if you were born here, uh, moved here, raised here, or Kanaka Maoli, indigenous native Hawaiian. There is an innate feeling to connect. Iolu au, iolo au ne. I live in you, you live in me. It is one of our guiding principles of aloha by which we live. It is aloha, which is why I greeted you folks today with aloha. It is that reciprocal exchange when giving and receiving aloha that is important to us. That spirit is what we strive to strengthen within our Mobi stores. It is that connection with our customers that makes us different. Our customers come in not just to pay their bills, not just to upgrade their phones, but to share their time, their space, their stories with us, ultimately connect with us. We love our people and our communities and want to help connect them to what and to who matters to them the most. So even while we make uh, these amazing technological advances within our Mobi app development, our e-commerce platform, growing our customer care teams, 
We strongly believe in keeping and growing our Mobi stores, our anchors in our communities here. As we look towards the future of Mobi, we want to balance honoring our roots and communities here in Hawaii, and to bring those principles and values with us anywhere we bring Mobi. I would love to have Tony, our Chief Strategy Officer, you met her a little earlier, uh, speak to how we will share Mobi from our service and technology through to our values with the mainland. Mahalo. Thank you. Thank you, Cassie. Hi, hello again. <laughs> um, it's me, but thank you so much, Cassie, again, and so much exciting things happening for Hawaii with growing Mobi as we continue to expand. So, as some of us know here, in the past, whenever a Mobi customer may have had their kid go to the mainland for, I don't know, college, they, they would have to go ahead and eventually get them a plan as well, right? That would leave the customer having two separate bills, one with us here in, at Mobi because we provided their service in Hawaii, and one with the bigger, bigger guys like AT&T, Verizon, for their kid on the mainland. So we eventually would lose that customer because it didn't make sense to have two bills. But with our new partnership with the carrier behind America's largest, fastest, most reliable nationwide 5G network, sorry to be a little coy here, <laughs> we're finally able to offer Mobi service to anyone just about anywhere on the mainland and here in Hawaii, all on one bill, with no limitations or restrictions, and they can roam domestically. What does that mean? If our carrier has service there, you will too. And while our focus will always be on being the wireless carrier that makes folks, pr folks proud most here home in Hawaii, being able to sp support our customers anywhere they might roam across the United States helps us achieve radically different and significant economies of scale, which we can and will reinvest in our customer care, mobile apps, building our brand, and in careful, focused marketing efforts to continue to offer our customers outstanding service. Sorry, I read it. <laughs> We've got some really exciting new partnerships that we'll be sharing over the next few months to help us introduce new folks to Mobi, all while growing our network, will make it even more convenient for our customers to switch to Mobi and start enjoying our service. We'll still stay focused on delivering a great customer experience, no matter where or how the customer first learns of Mobi. And of course, the big shift that's happening in our industry right now, literally as I'm speaking to you folks, is the shift from physical SIMs to eSIMs. So making a truly digital strategy possible finally here. Wherever they might be, customers will no longer have to wait for a physical SIM card to be shipped to them. They can simply walk into their neighborhood retail stores, pick up a Mobi SIM, or scan a QR code at their retail display. Or you know what, even download our Mobi app. I suggest we all do that here while we're in the room. So, <laughs> but our introducing most Mobi to folks is certainly great for visibility and brand awareness, making it easier for customers to rediscover and choose Mobi as their wireless provider. But our strategy is not just to be another wireless provider. We understand that not every customer needs are the same. So they don't need the same features on their plan and we wanna give the, our customers the flexibility to choose what makes the most sense for them. From how they want to start service with Mobi to what features they want on their plan. Everything we offer is tailor-made to what the customer needs and what makes sense for them. Even if their needs might change from month to month. That flexibility is important to our customers today and an important part of how we've built our brand. And we think folks will really value that once they see how human a wireless carrier can actually be if they choose to be. And we will. And I'd like to welcome Justin back to share just a few more details on what we've been up to here at Mobi. Thank you. So it says mahalo, but I should actually say I'm sorry to PTC. We started a little late and we ran way over. And thank you all for sticking with us. We really appreciate it. And especially thank you to Tony and Cassie, Brad, Mayor, Chi, everyone on our team here, Erlen, for coming all the way from, from Norway to join us. Um, all of the Moby team here joining us and all of the rest of you who have uh, stuck around through uh, 
mostly us being wireless geeks. Uh, especially thank you also to the Working Group 2 team, to Federated Wireless, and the team at TNS for making all of what we've talked about today possible. We've got a lot more to share. Not today, sorry. I didn't want to scare you. We, we've got a lot more to share uh, <clears throat> that we will announce in the not too distant future. We're working now on international roaming uh, that will make sense, which it oftentimes doesn't for folks. Uh, we talked a little bit about home internet, the Mobi 5G wireless home internet plans. We have uh, so many more uh, things coming up on, made possible by the new mobile core uh, and 5G side link. All of that we'll be sharing more uh, at Mobi.com, on our Twitter, our Facebook, twitter.com slash Mobi, facebook.com slash Mobi. We have a subreddit, um, just Mobi. Uh, and blog.mobi.com will be up later today. And pre-orders for Sims and eSims will be up later today. And <clears throat> just one more time, first 25,000 folks get that $4 off for life. Uh, but the 999 new Mobi plan is also for life. We're never gonna raise that or increase that, which is not very common in our industry. But thank you all so much for joining us. Thank you so much for PTC to ha for having us. Hopefully they'll let us back next year, even though we went way over. Uh, <laughs> mahalo nui loa to all of you for joining us and aloha. Yeah. Good job, mahalo nui to the team from